right? So I want to show you guys a vulnerability called IDOR, indirect objects reference something, something no one cares what it actually stands for, right? IDOR is basically where you're able to access someone else's account or someone else's account information. So let's say you're user one, and if user one is able, without permission obviously, to able to access user two details, that is IDOR. So let me actually demonstrate the basics, basics, right? of IDOR. So what I've got here is basically just a text file that will, if I put a question mark and I put an ID, let's say that my ID is one. Okay, so as you can see, my name is John Doe. But if I put ID two, I can see Jane Doe, which is another user, right? If I put ID three, we have found Joe Biden's credit card. Now I can bankrupt him. This is the problem, right? And especially if you can like get someone else's account, like let's say credit card details or some address or something else, that is a very, very big critical vulnerability. However, this is not the only case where you might, because this is, uh, remember that this is the case, like a simple case with no defenses, no security, no nothing. However, you might get some stuff that's encoded, like I'll show you in a second. Now, this is another case, but obviously the purpose of this is for you to understand and sort of know where to look for it and how to look for IDORs. So what we've got here is a case of basically a profile and some value. Now, this value, if you don't know, it is base64 encoded, right? Let me actually show you this. So if you just take this value and you run it either through a website or you can run it through Bob Suite, if you come to decoder, decode as base64, as you can see, it says one. So basically, what happens if I change this to two? Right? So let's just inject this as two. And as you can see, it says error. Now, why? Because usually when you have a website and it gives you like a hashed value or a base64 value or some other value that is just not plain text, you might have to decrypt it. Not always, because sometimes you can break the logic by just putting straight values, but sometimes you have to encode your value. So let's just encode as base64 again. Okay, so we get another value and let's inject this value. Okay, so as you can see, we just accessed another user. User ID two, Bob Chandelier, Bob Chandelier at gmail.com. So this is IDOR and we have successfully exploited the vulnerability, right? Now, the whole purpose of finding a vulnerability is you need to find a place where you can find a vulnerability like this. And the second basically step is just to sort of see what you can do. For example, if there's an API, what happens if you put your someone else's profile, right? What happens if you put a different username? What happens if I change this value? You just need to basically play around and eventually you will get somewhere, right? I'm not saying this will be easy, but you will get somewhere if you just keep trying. All right, so that'll be it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and please don't forget to also check my other videos, which should be somewhere on the screen. If not, then go to my playlists.